Barbies. Hi, welcome to Miss Annette's Little Farm in the Big City. I have a couple of things that I'm going to do today for the bees. I'm going to get some sugar water because it's still warm enough for them to be out. So I'm going to get some sugar water out and I'm going to set it in feeders outside. I'm also going to make some hard candy for them which sounds weird, but it's just sugar and water and it's hard so that they have some food during the winter. And I'm going to make a moisture blanket. So I'm going to do those things for the bees today. We'll get inside the beehive, take a look around. I'm not really quite sure what we're going to see when we get in there. I'm a little concerned, but that happens every year. You learn more and more about beekeeping. I've been doing this for quite a while. You'd think I'd have it perfected by now, but I don't. And even people who have been doing it 20 years still get confounded. You know what they say, you ask 10 beekeepers, you're going to get 10 different answers. I'm going to set that aside for it to cool off until it gets to be about room temperature. And then I can take it outside for the bees. This funny contraption is a candy board. Look, it has hard wire on there. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this to make a candy board for the bees. I'm going to use some newspaper. And I'll line this with this newspaper. Like that. And then I will put the sugar mixture in here. So I'll put that aside. That's what happens when you're short. recipes for this candy board. But I do know one thing for sure. It's going to be more sugar than water. I'm going to just do it a little bit at a time. We're going to have about 10 pounds and about two cups of water. It's going to be very dry. And I'm going to use about a tablespoon of white distilled vinegar. I'm just going to do this simple recipe this time. See how it's easily packed down? It's ready to be put into the container. This is what it looks like before I put that. Now, see there's a hole here for the bees to get in and out. And then I'm going to not pack it all the way up because I want to have a little bit of ventilation. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just plop that here. I need to take this super, I'm going to make it smaller. It doesn't need to be very big. So I'm going to use this ruler and these notches to help me figure out how big it needs to be. So this is about at two inches and now I'm going to drill some holes on the sides for ventilation. Well, I'm not going to do it. Mr. Steve is going to do it. I'm going to cover them up with some of this netting, wire netting, to keep any kind of small animals from trying to make a home in there. It would be you to do that, wouldn't it? Can I ask you to move? Thank you very much. take the hive cover off. Honeybee is a very important member of our food chain. Without the honeybee pollinating our fruits and vegetables, I don't know where we'd be. I mean, there are plenty of pollinators, but not, none of the other pollinators are as efficient as the honeybee. We need to do everything we can to protect the honeybee and make sure that it prospers. One of the ways that you can help the honeybee is to not put weed killer in your grass. I know, we all like that beautiful green grass, but 
the honeybee depends on those dandelions for its first pollen in the spring. Just give it some thought, okay? It's a beautiful fall day. Perfect weather to be outside. I hope you get a chance to get outside today. Thank you for visiting me here on Miss Annette's Little Farm in the Big City. Make sure you get outside today if you can. And we'll see you next time. All right? Bye. Love you.